cool place. Motherfucking paid my last month of rent. Did all this shit, bro. Yesterday was fucking hardcore hard work. I called somebody to come cut the grass. But, uh, yeah, dude, the, I don't know, like, bro, the, I did a, I got a quote on a, on a, on a move to go, like, it does, okay, I'm literally moving 10 minutes down the street, right, it's not far at all, and, dude, they want to quote me $621, I'm like, dude, come on, $621 for a, to pack two bedroom worth of shit, like, they got to pack two bedrooms worth of shit, because I did all the other, I packed everything else, okay, we really only have, like, two bedrooms worth of shit and a couch, and they wanted to charge me 600 bucks. So I'm like, that can't be. So I went on an app called TaskRabbit because I was like, 600 is ridiculous. And uh, I could, I'm gonna rent a U-Haul myself for like 20 bucks. And then on TaskRabbit, I'm gonna hire two dudes for 40 an hour each. So I'll pay 80 bucks an hour. And you know, I'm pretty sure we can get everything done in like three hours, like packed and unpacked to the new place, three hours. So that's, you know, 80, 160, that's like $210 or something, dude. Like 200 bucks. Now that, that's way better. And I was thinking like maybe I can call some people to help us to help me move or whatever, but to be honest, I don't really want to move any of the furniture down the stairs cuz I'm going to cuz I'm, I'm kind of weak and I don't want to hit the walls with the furniture and, and scratch the walls on the way down. And also, I'm lazy. And also, if I get some people to come help me out and I don't pay them, they're they're going to do a bad job. So I'd rather just pay a couple dudes they do it real quick, and it's fucking over with. I mean, I can't really, uh, I can't read the chat, but I mean, you guys tell me uh, if 600 is like a normal thing. Cause I remember moving in LA, bro. I definitely have paid like two or three hundred dollars to move in LA. So, and I mean, even unpacking the shit here when we got to Austin, I hired some movers to unpack our stuff. It was like 150 bucks. So I don't know what the hell does 600 came from. Your mask. I have my mask. Yeah, don't worry. I have multiple masks in the car. I they don't let you get inside Walmart without a mask, so I have it. <laughs> but yeah, I was looking around yesterday too. I drove around and I was like, all right, what's open right now? So I'm like, I'm, I want to like go back to normal life. So I was looking around for what's open. And I called the movie theaters, and I called the restaurants, and, like, nothing's open, dude. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I get it. What's the point of opening your business if you can only have 10 people at a time? But still, come on. I thought there would be something that opens, but I, I don't see a damn thing opening. Maybe, like, the Waffle House. I'm like, I don't want to go to the fucking Waffle House, bro. I'm trying to go to, like, a nice restaurant or something, dude. Like, I'm trying to get my normal life back here. And then, yeah, there, the, the, this one place I called was like, yeah, well, we might open the 17th as long as there's no second wave. And I'm like, well, if no one opens anyways, there's not going to be a second wave regardless. So just, like, I don't know. Because I've been thinking, I'm like, I don't really support places like New York opening, obviously, because they're fucking have a lot of cases. But, I mean, Texas has, like, 20,000 cases and uh, I don't know how many deaths, maybe like a few hundred. I think they said Texas ha is, is, has the least amount of deaths per capita of any state. So with that said, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, if they want to open, that's not, I don't think that's that bad. I think as long as they keep the social distancing and shit, I think opening is like, I'm excited to go do stuff. Like I'm just so bored out of my mind. You know, as long as there's no, as long as people are safe about it, you know, like I'm not, I'm not, if I go into a restaurant, there's some dude coughing and shit, like I'm walking the other way, but I don't know. I'm just so fucking bored. I was excited for May 1st and then I got disappointed immediately <laughs> when there wasn't any shit, dude. But I mean, we'll see, I guess. I mean. They're saying, I think by, I think by the end of May, by June 1st, I think everything will be open in Texas because yeah, they have the right to open now. It's just, it's just the, you know, we're just waiting for the business owners to be like, yeah, okay, let's do it. So, I mean, I think by June 1st, everything will be open. I think they're just a little worried right now. I mean, I, cause I hope so. Cause like I'm moving to 
like, bro, I'm moving to fucking downtown, dude. Like, I need shit to be open. That's the point of living there. No point of moving to downtown, paying a fucking bunch of amenity fees just to not be able to do anything that I moved there for. That'd be fucking annoying. But, I mean, we'll see, I guess. All right, so we already, we're here. We're at Walmart. Let me just park real quick here. Alrighty. We still gonna quarantine in New York? Yeah, I know. Yo, Mod, just ban anyone in the chat for even bringing up uh, anything that happened two nights ago. Alright? Like, we're not talking about that here. I don't care. Who cares? Just ban the people talking about it. I mean, shit, I didn't think I'd have to get a protective order in Austin, but I did, so if he comes, then he will be arrested for breaking the protective order that I filed when the police came a couple nights ago. Alrighty, that's really it. Okay, so let's get inside this motherfucker. Yo, did we hit two mil? Did we hit two mil right now? Yo, hey, two mil, dude. Shout out to y'all, two million views on the motherfucking ass mixer channel. Hey, shout out to y'all. That's crazy, two million, dude, that's crazy. That's, I don't think, there's not many people on mixer to have, I like that this matches my hair. There's not many people on mixer to have two million views total, so. The boy is him in. So that's freaking insane, dude. Two million views total, that is, that is rare on mixer. So shout out to y'all. Y'all are real ones, 100%, dude. No sub button. We don't need it. Hey, well, we need it, bro. What am I saying? We definitely need it. But what I'm saying is, uh, um, hey, like I said, when we get it one day, with uh, when they when they release sub buttons for everyone one day, we are gonna be the number one most subbed channel on Mixer without being a partner. And I'm making that a fact. We're gonna work hard to get to that point. We only need like, I think, like I said, we only need like 2,500 subs to be the, the most sub channel so I mean I think we could hit that if I really work hard it's considering y'all can also sub for free so if there's nobody so I mean if I have a sub button and you don't have and you don't sub to me there's no excuse it's free I'm gonna ban you I'm gonna ban all non-subs after a week okay because it's free no excuse six no I'm just kidding I wouldn't do that but I would definitely be like why the hell did you not sub it's free I gotta my mask is oh Hold on, I need to tie it better. One second. Alrighty. All right, we're good. All right, so we gotta go to the construction aisle and we're good. Bro, I've been spraying everything down with sanitizer. I've, I'm like a, what's it called? Hydrochondriac or something? Like, dude, I'm like, like, bro, I'm literally afraid to, to touch anything or, like, people. Like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> so even if I go to a restaurant, dude, I'm going to be... I have, like, a little spray bottle that I carry around with me. I'm going to spray the chair. I'm going to spray the table. Like, I'm going to just spray everything with, like... Like, I'm just... I don't know, bro. I'm like Howie Mandel right now. Like, germs? I don't I don't mess with no germs, homie. Yeah, $30? No, it's only $5, dude. You can't price gouge. It's illegal, dude. Spray the bottle, yo, true. I don't have the button. I left the bottle in the car. I should have brought it here, but inside of me, but I'm not really touching nothing, so it's all good. All right, you barely know. I showered. I've, I've been showering more lately because of all this, so don't worry. All right, so paint is set. Okay. So we need like wall plasters. We got paint and hardware. I would assume it would be here. We don't need paint. We already have the paint. It came with the house. Thank God, because paint is like fucking expensive. Um, we need, like, I don't even know. We just need, like, a knife and wall plaster. And, like, uh, something to, like, a sander. We need to sand it down, like a scratchy thing. Or, like, a, we need, I don't know what it's called, like, a paintbrush or something to, like, hmm. I don't really remember, dude. What was it? It was, like, a paintbrush or something that, like, a, that you scrape the paint, the, the excess paint off with, and then you have to sand it down when it dries or something. 
A scraper, yeah. Like some shit like that. Yeah, Stevie G, what do I need, bro? Let's see. I'm going to have to ask someone where they got all the, the wall patch stuff. Mm. I'm going to ask someone because I don't even know where to... I don't know what I'm looking... I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Yeah, like a spatula or something. That was... That's exactly... Or like Flex Seal. Flex Seal definitely could fix a hole in the wall. But I don't know. I mean, it just needs to look like there was never a hole in the wall. You, that's like, you know what I'm saying? It just, it just needs to look normal. Because uh, my landlord knows there's a hole in the wall because I told him. But as long as... He's like, as long as you make it look normal, you're good. So how do so I mean I don't think Flex Seal is gonna make it look normal though. Hmm. Play-Doh, now come on dude. Play-Doh is not going to do that. Um Putty knife. Putty knife, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, that I mean you're okay, yeah, but I don't know what it looks like really. I'm just I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm just I need to, oh, oh my God, where'd my sandal go? Oh, I kicked it under the counter, dude. Hold on. It fell off and it kicked it. All right, hold on. My mask keeps falling off. One sec, bro. I'm getting real sick and tired of this goddamn mask. I wish I had a medical one. They don't sell them anywhere. I need to find an employee. I got Corona foot now. Guaranteed. All right, yo, they should just have all this shit in a kit. Let me, let me find an employee. They should just have all this stuff in just a kit, like a box that I buy, and it has everything inside of it to fix a wall. I mean, look, they have, they have generators, dude. They have generators and like glue guns. Like, okay, here we go. They have a hammer tacker. If they've got this thing, they've got wall plaster. All righty, let's. Let me see where. Here's an employee right here. He asks this man. Putty knife, yeah. I'm just see where it is. Excuse me. Do you know where the uh, the wall plaster is? Like wall plaster and like putty knives and stuff. I don't really know what it looks like. Okay, does it say wall plastics? I don't I don't know what it looks like or what it, what I'm looking for, so. Oh, under where it says wall repair. Okay. I did not even see that. <laughs> wall Oh, okay. Have you ever fixed a wall? Yeah. Do you what do I need to fix a drywall? Is it is it is it like little I, nail holes? No, I have it's like a big hole like a like a face, like my head hit the wall. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You need something that's got some reinforcement so you can put it on and then you put the Either one of these, either one of these will do. It's like this. This one has like the kind of a little steel mesh type thing that gives it some body. Okay. Because you can't feel it because it's just the stuff that's going to fall. Don't I? So, but I have to buy a knife too so I can make a square around the hole, right? And then yeah. I put that in the square? Yeah, well, you, you don't necessarily have to, you don't have to necessarily be square. You just need to get this stuff out, like just like that right there. It is, yeah. Just kind of get that. What you can do is just put that over that. Or well, just slap it on. You don't even necessarily have to do all that. See how they do it right there. And see, that will stick on there, and then it'll give you a Excuse something me, to, to yes. it'll give you support. What's that? One sec. Tip him, homie. Oh yeah, hold on one sec.